You used to kick at a place, obviously, that has been on this run of success that nobody can compare. I think it's going to be impossible. 13 AFC championship games in 17 years for Tom Brady. You were there. You started this whole thing off with the snow kick, the tuck rule, then the Super Bowl championships over there. Why are the Patriots so damn good for so long, do you think, Vinny? Man, I, t- I tell you what, and I'll be the first one to admit you know, every year you, you hear the experts saying, oh, they're getting too old. They don't have the juice. And I start to believe, you know, you start hearing that and believing it. And then they just turn around and keep doing exactly what they did every year. You know, everybody sits there and says, Tom's getting too old, this or that. And every year, year in and year out, he just keeps showing up and playing in these big games and finding ways to win. And I tell you, between between having him as your quarterback and having Bill Belichick as your head coach, he, he can – he can make an amazing team with whatever he's got. I mean, he just he puts a game plan together. He he gets guys to to really excel and and play to their utmost talent. And and I I tell you what, you know, you know, halfway through the season, everybody's talking. Well, the Patriots maybe don't have it. And, and I and I always just sit there and shake my head and laugh because as long as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are there, they're going to be one of those teams that are always in the mix and in the hunt and. And sure enough, they always show up for the big games. I, I, I saw, you know, a quote or something earlier that says, man, people people just can't wait till Tom retires. Well, myself included, you know, being on an opposing team <laughs> when, when he's playing and, and, and Belichick's coaching, it, it's, it's always a tough day when you have to go against those guys. That's for sure. Did Belichick teach you anything mentally, you think, or anything whenever you were there that has made you become the greatest of all time at your position, whether it was something he did in practice, something he said to you in a team meeting, something the way he carried himself. Is there anything that you took away from the, your era or your time with the Patriots where you're like, you know what, that has made me become the greatest kicker of all time? Well, I don't think it not only made me better, but it made everybody in that building better. Um, I wouldn't say it's always a, a fun, comfortable place. I mean, you're you're always you're always on on check. I guess you know everybody's always looking to every single time you do anything, they expect the best out of you. And and you know what? He he made players play better. I mean, he he took average players and made them great, and great players even better. You know, and the the, the thing that he can do really really well is there's in in the National Football League and. 2019 now there's plenty of egos and plenty of people that um, feel a certain way but he can take a group of men and make them play together I, I remembered you know there was a, a slogan on the wall that says do your job and and I think he could do he can make guys do that as well or better than anybody out there make sure you knew exactly what what you were supposed to do individually and then um, put a game plan together that if everybody did their, did their job, drank the Kool-Aid, so to say, you had a chance of winning games. And, and, and I think as you see that year in and year out, it's easy for new draft choices or, or free agents to come in and, and believe in the schemes and the philosophies. And when everybody buys in, it doesn't matter how good the scheme is one way or another. If everybody's on the same page and everybody's doing exactly what you're supposed to, you're a hard team to beat. Hey, did you expect this from Dwayne Allen and Philip Dorsett? I mean, I remember watching Philip Dorsett make one-handed grabs on the sideline, jumping up and snagging it, making huge plays in practice. But then in the game, he'd like disappear. And Dwayne Allen, I don't know what happened with him. He was hot with us early, and then he kind of stopped getting the ball. Something happened. I have no idea what happened in the locker room. Those two have gotten a restart up there. And it seems what happens anytime you get into that Patriot place is you get a restart, you get a chance to dominate here, and is that why? Because he just expects everybody to do their job and it's like one singular vision and focus? I think so. I think everybody has a role when you get to that team, any team, you know, every team, you have a certain role. But but I think, you know, those two guys are, are playmaker type guys. I mean, you know, Dwayne and, and uh, Philip were, were both high draft choices. We, we knew that they were quality players. And, and I think, you know, they plugged them into their role there and said, you know, this is what I expect from you. And if you play well, you're going to get some shots and credit both of those two players. They've, they've done a really nice job over there. Phillips making big catches that are, that are, are uh, turning out to be touchdowns the last few weeks and, and Dwayne as well. I mean, they're, they're both playing very, very well and had a resurgence in their career and, 
kudos to them. You know, I'm happy for those guys. Uh, you know, they're te- former teammates and friends of mine. So, uh, you know, I want to cheer them on and, and hopefully they do well. Do you remember Dorsett would make like once a week, he'd make a top 10 sports center, top 10 catch in practice. And then he would, <laughs> he wouldn't do shit in the game. I was like, what are we, we're not even giving him. I don't even think we're giving him the ball. I, I don't even think, I think he might've been like the fifth option on a lot of plays. And then in practice, he'd be on like the scout team playing against our, our um our starting defense and he'd be going up in this crowd and just snap like what why are we doing these on wednesday like why why is this all happening on a fucking wednesday and why it was it was a very it was an interesting thing you've got to see a lot of football in your life and every time i go to these tv networks and they ask me i get asked the same question it's like as a kicker or punter do you think you can break down the game like other people do i'm like yo i had a front row fucking seat to a lot of things man and vinatieri you, you've been doing this for 24 years now your football iq is i i would say I mean, let's put a Belichick ahead of you, I guess, because we have to, but in Tom Brady, but your football IQ is next level. I mean, situational wise, most situations in football revolve around special teams decisions at the end of it, whether it's the end of a half, the beginning of a half, going for it on fourth downs, situational shit is normally all surrounding around special teams. So those who are affected by it normally have to invest in it, which is what me and Vinatieri did. When you leave the, right. when you leave the game of football, are you going to coach? Are you going to go hunt? Are you going to be a media man? What are you going to be with this wealth of knowledge that you have in the football world? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to quit playing football. So, you know, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hey, you know, do you, I, hey, I enjoy- hey, 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 hold on. Do, you, do are you? I want this is man to man talking. We can't dump this if your answer is wrong. Do you think when you retire from football, you're going to die like Paterno? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I got way too many things on my bucket list that I want to do. So if, if the good Lord takes me away, I'm going to be pissed because there's too many things that I still want to do when, when, when it's finally time to be done. That's for sure. 